today i am going to explain you the wordpress uh, wordpress is a content management system for that we have to download the wordpress from wordpress.org after downloading we can put the wordpress in our triple w folder if you are using a web server if you are using a exam server then you can paste that wordpress folder in your ht docs after that i can explain you the structure of a wordpress folder inside uh, there are our main three folders wp admin wp content and wp includes so we don't worry about the wp admin and includes we go in a uh, wp content folder in wp content folder you can see the plugins folder themes folder uploads and index so i have to explain but rest we have to see in the other files is the main file is a dot ht access file ht access file is help to access the uh, like our theme or our content in a web browser and the main file is a index dot php that is help to install or help to implement the wordpress application now here see front of front to the wordpress application this file does does not do anything but it load the wp blog header dot php because it load the header that tell us the that your theme is enabled or not is just like you have to like upload your theme in a wordpress so in a wordpress one main at that file the main important thing is that the define wp use theme true that means your theme will be enable and you can change it many times so it's a main concept of index.php if that file is deleted our wordpress couldn't work and rest of the file like wp active it help to activate the wordpress after that blog header comments.php now main important file is wp config the wp config file is a config uh, show in a your url the second step is the configuration like mysql setting secret key database absolute path and that time like you can see the database name by default like my database name is wp that i can write in a web browser username is a root password should be blank and our database these are the main concept of wp 